So let's take a look at our practice probe for 7RPA3 standard. A penny falls, question one, a penny falls a distance of 60 feet through the air in two and a half seconds. In the same amount of time, the penny falls through a depth of 16 feet in a pool of water. What is the difference in the rates of the fall of the penny through the air and then through the water? So essentially, it's looking for 60 divided by two and a half. Same amount of time. Okay, so I'm going to take 60 and divide it by 2.5. They gave me 24. And then I take 16 and divide it by 2.5. And that gave me 6.4. Keyword here is difference. And that suggests subtraction. So 24 minus the 6.4 gives me 17.6 and the closest answer that I see to that would be D. Number two, a student traded four pieces of chocolate for seven pieces of hard candy. At this rate, how many pieces of chocolate would be traded for 35 pieces of hard candy? I've seen on some of your posts that some of you are confused with proportions and you don't put the numbers in the right places. I insist that you put the words in, the, in there with the numbers. That will help you put those numbers in the correct place. We got four pieces of chocolate, seven pieces of hard candy. How many pieces of chocolate would be traded for 35 pieces of hard candy? 35 is hard candy, so it goes down here with hard candy. Keep your ratios in the same order. And that's how you know where to put things. So I'm gonna use the variable C for chocolate going to multiply 4 times 35. You could go that way out. Say that's 140. Then 7 times C is 140. Divide both sides by 7. You're going to get C is equal to 20. That's one way you could do it. Or You could look at it, if it, what do we do to 7 to get to 35? We multiply by 5. So if that's true, you do the same thing to the top to keep it proportional. And 4 times 5 is also 20. So two different methods get the same answer. But please, please, please help yourself out. Put the labels with these numbers so you know how to set up your numbers and put them in the correct place in your proportion. Savings account earns 4.6 simple interest per year. If 650 is deposited and no withdrawals or deposits are made during one year, how much interest will be earned after one year? I party. Okay, so we have our interest rate is four point, I think that's a six, but you got to use the decimal form of that, so 0 0.046. Our principal is 650, I believe is what that says. So we replace 
the p variable with 650. And it says no withdrawals or deposits are made for one year. So we're talking about a time period of one year. Question says how much interest? So that's what we're looking for is the interest. So take 650, multiply by 0 0.046, multiply by 1. And I have gotten that the interest is 29.9. I'm wondering, does that say 4.5? Okay, so let's go back and try using. Forty-five there. Since I didn't come up with any of the answer choices there, six hundred fifty times point zero four five times one. There we go. Oops. That is twenty-nine point two five, which would be answer choice B. Question four, a discount store normally sells DVDs for $14.44. If the DVDs go on sale for $13.72, which of the following is closest to the percent of decrease in the price? Looking for a percent of change. That is the difference over the original. You can multiply that by 100. Or if you wanted to, you could say, we'll find that P percent out of 100 if you're more comfortable with proportions. The difference is going to be 1444 minus 1372. That will tell us our difference. The original is the 1444. We do not know the percent. In fact, that is what we're looking for. And we do know that percent is always out of 100. So 1444 minus 1372 is a difference of 72 cents. So if I multiply 72 cents times 100, that's going to give me 72. So I'll have 1444p. If you multiply those, cross multiply, equals 72. I take this 72, divide both sides by 1444. And P gives me 4.986, which I would say that would round up to 4.99. Now keep in mind, the question said, what is the percent of decrease? So the percent is what we were looking for, so we put a percent sign with it. 4.99 is the percent of decrease. C is the correct answer choice. Last one. Shonda tracked the number of pages she read during the school year. During the first 18 weeks of school, she read 706 maybe 750 pages. During the second 18 weeks, she read 1,250 pages, which is closest to the change in Shonda's reading rate between these two periods during the school year. So I'm going to go with, that's a 750 during the first 18 weeks. Divide to find the rate. 
and then 1,250 divided by 18 weeks. This is pages, this is pages, this is weeks, this is weeks. This is the first semester, this is the second semester. 750 divided by 18. I got 41.6 repeating there. 1250 divided by 18. That's what I got there. Looking at our answer choice. So the rate increased from 20 pages per week to 50 pages per week. Well, my first number is 41 and that's 20. That doesn't match. Rate increased from 30 pages per week. Doesn't match. The rate increased from 40 pages per week to 70 pages per week. That's pretty approximately close. Let's see if D makes any better sense. The rate increased from 50 pages per week to 80 pages per week. No. This one is not as good as a fit as this one. So I would go with answer choice C there. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening.